Shalom, shalom. Who will tune in for this live video? The topic is effortless effort and karma, to be specific. I think that for many people, no matter what level of awareness we're at, we tend to get caught up in material entanglement in one form or another. And it's important to remind each other because it will just sneak up on us. And one thing I think we get very confused is karma. Karma is just cause and effect. No one can escape this. This is the field through which we move. And so we don't need to worry about who's doing wrong. And we, we might even say, oh, yeah, I know that, I know that. But in small ways, it's really sneaky where we do this thing. We worry so much about what the next guy is doing. And we end up wasting our power, our awareness, our thoughts. So much of it on this person who's not doing the right thing. Whereas we can be using all of that energy to just do the right thing ourselves. In the end, it's not about the faces or the places. It's about what's happening inside and what is our response to the universe. It's between you and the universe. It's never about the other person. And so, for example, when somebody does you wrong, and we hear this all the time, when somebody does you wrong and, they, and then you say, well, you know what, this person did me wrong, they did me dirty, so I'm going to do the same thing. It's their karma. And now it's your karma. You see, you're just creating a new cycle, a new cycle that will also bear effects. Now we're just getting further entangled in this material reality, and we're only fooling the self. It's so much easier when we surrender that process of judgment and karma to the universe because it's already happening. It's effortless. The universe does it effortlessly, organically, beautifully, beyond, beyond any way that we could do it. The universe has such a graceful way of doing it because that's, that's part of its job. And so why would we bear that burden if it's so unnecessary? Why waste our energy and so harshly judging others and giving others what they deserve? That's naturally going to happen. And so it's so important that we don't get caught in that trap and we just focus on ourselves and do what we know is right. Reserve your power for that. Cultivate power and use it to stay on the virtuous path. It's hard. It's hard to keep that will, that strength of will focused, laser point focused on the virtuous path. The ego is very tricky and it only gets trickier as we level up. So let's, let's do it the way of effortless effort. Like in the Tao, this is described as Wu Wei. It's called Wu Wei, effortless effort. We allow the field to carry us. We learn about self because everything is a part of self. So we learn about our environment as part of that self. And we learn about these laws through which we move in and upon this field. And we allow it to, it, to the fullest extent, to its fullest potential, to carry us. And we do the rest. It's kind of like the saying, do your best and let God do the rest. That's exactly what it is. We do what we can do. And the universe will carry us and guide us. So surrender as much as you can in a way that is actually for the highest good of all. In a way that when you surrender, you're surrendering to the one, the one who's got it. We don't need to worry. So we can clear out all the extraneous thoughts, all the futile pursuits, and just do what we're here to do with all of the support from the universe. Shalom.